didn't realize I was hanging by a thread until I unraveled myself, spinning over loose gravel between the hedges of West Cork, rattling the stone ribs beneath the spine of the Bearer Peninsula, until I saw daylight between two bones, headed down into the green arms of Alihi's Bay, allowed myself to settle between strong shoulders while the last breaths of Atlantic waves slowed me down to their rhythm pushed a new heart into my chest. There I was, lying on a rough cup bench outside the Atlantic Seafood Restaurant, actually a bare little bar by a beach at the end of the world, run by a blown-in couple who decided to root themselves on this threshold. Several Englishmen were waiting at the bar. We insisted on having the lobster. It was chalked on the board, catch of the day. We insisted until the wife called her husband, who splashed weary oars to fetch the shellfish from their pots, fresh as the brine dripping from floor to flagstone, pungent as the cries of mating donkeys over the field. <laughs> My straggly skein was starting to be woven into a new garment around me. Even as I pushed away my plate and lifted my glass, and the last long fingers of the evening sun left their prints on the grass between road and shoreline, I started to wonder what imprint would I make in the mothering soil of Ireland that would last after rain had washed the dust from my tire treads into the ditches.